Let's look at the Goldbach conjecture. Recall that a prime number is a number greater than 1 whose only positive divisors are 1 and the number. For example, the number 23 is prime because its only positive divisors are 1 and 23. It's divisible only by 1 and 23. But the number 49 is not prime because its positive divisors are 1, 7, and 49. Is there an unsolved math problem that can be explained to a third grader? Some unsolved math problems are so complicated that even I, with a PhD in mathematics, can't really understand them. However, the Goldbach conjecture can be explained to a third grader. And how do I know? Because once I visited my third grader's class and explained it to the class. Here's the Goldbach conjecture. Every even number greater than 2 is the sum of two primes. For example, 4 is 2 plus 2, 6 is 3 plus 3, 8 is 5 plus 3, skipping down to 18, it's 13 plus 5, 100 is 97 plus 3. It seems that every even number greater than 2 is the sum of two primes. The Goldbach conjecture was fir first proposed in a letter from Christian Goldbach to the great mathematician Leonard Euler in 1742. And it's been confirmed for all even numbers up to 4, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, That's 4 quintillion. Does that prove it's true? No. In mathematics, there's no such thing as proof by example.